The science of healing with sound. How does healing with sound work? Is there good research? The answer to the second question is simple. Yes. There's quite a bit, actually. We'll discuss some of it in this video. To answer the first question, we need to unpack what sound is. In essence, sound is vibration, and vibration is energy moving. If I strike a big bass drum with a mallet, you would no doubt hear it. Have you ever been to a parade and heard a drum line as it passed you on the street? As they passed, you might remember feeling the vibration of the drums rumbling in your chest. Think about that. The drummer has the thought that she wants to make a sound. This thought directs energy from the drummer's arm and stick to strike the drum, and then the drum head begins to vibrate. Then the vibration from the drum head emanates outwardly to meet your chest and ears where you both hear and feel the vibration. A way to think about this is that the sound transferred the original energy from the drummer's hands to your ears, yet the vibration is invisible to your eyes. Though you can't see sound with your eyes, you can definitely measure sound waves and see a representation of them on a computer screen using a basic recording setup. But what does this have to do with healing? Healing happens in multiple ways when we harness the way vibrational energy affects the body. Western medicine already uses vibration for healing in a variety of FDA approved ways, including ultrasound healing for issues like speeding the healing of broken bones, tendonitis, kidney stone removal, and even glaucoma relief. There's also the increasing use of stimulating the vagus nerve with vibration for conditions including epilepsy and treatment-resistant depression. Then there's the stimulation of the vagus nerve using self-created sounds like humming or chanting, which are a key part of what I teach. Research on this variation shows significant benefits for depression, anxiety, irritability, lowering blood pressure, and having a positive effect on heart rate variability. In one eight-week study in India on depression, scientists studied if self-created sounds could improve general well-being. In the study, 31 male participants were selected from a university in India. Each were instructed to use a sound technique that emulated the humming sound of a buzzing bumblebee 20 times. Then the researchers measured the participants' brainwave activity using an EEG. What they found was an increase in the brain's theta range activity, which they noted is similar to results obtained with meditation techniques. The scientists go on to say that participants benefit in other significant ways, including reduced irritability, depression, and anxiety. Additionally, the researchers note that the sound exercise helped participants increase control over their breath. The participants reported that making simple vocal sounds reduced anxiety and improved their mood. Even doing exercise once per week helped to keep depression at bay. Think about that. They used a simple sound exercise to help themselves feel better, without pills, with no worry of addiction or liver damage, in less time than it takes to brush and floss your teeth, and with no copay. Though cultures globally have been using and benefiting from sound healing for centuries, modern science is finally validating the healing potential of sound. The ability to create sound energy is one of the body's many built-in features to help you heal and feel better. It's likely you've just never been shown how to do it.